That's hard D. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like I'm getting ready to play a Dynasty That's Warriors game. Yeah. I That's totally feel like playing a Dynasty Warriors game right now, though. <laughs> Fire Emblem Warriors. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Elliot. I'm Johnny. I'm Matt. I'm Greg. Oh, hey, why are you doing here? I'm hanging out. I wanted to see some uh, j big giant naked men. <laughs> and, and look at I mean, look at that sexy rib cage. You, know, you know oh, that's, thank you. Look at that. Thank you. Okay, you oh, know what? That's man. very understandable. Look at, uh, look at all that man meat. <laughs> By which I mean the people that live there. <laughs> Greg, I swear your flattery will get you everywhere. Uh -huh. This shit looks like a sandbox. <laughs> so, we are actually... Wait, no Gurin no, Gurin no Yumiya? Nah. I, I wish that they had that, but no. That's a missed opportunity and a half right here. But welcome to Attack on Titan. Woo! Having the sex with the bees and the eagles. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time of this recording, Season 2 just ended this Saturday. And they're actually trying to get uh, Season 3 a lot faster than originally intended. Next year. Hopefully. And looking at the Titans, I can tell that uh, Barbie and Ken dolls were anatomically correct after all. <laughs> so, I mean, just to get this out of the way... Well, what are what are your, everyone's history here with Attack on Titan? Watched the first episodes of season three, fell off, fell, off, fell, uh, and I kind of tailed off. I I kept up through the series when it first started. <laughs> I've seen all of season one, I think twice, and then I just I haven't gotten around to watching the second season. I need to, catch but I but I'm familiar with a lot of the some lore? of the well some of the things that have come about in the second season. But so I know, I know that it's different from the manga, and it was it, it moved along at a different pace. I have seen the first season and I yeah. thought it was a waste of time. It's really? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I mean, look, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shit on you if you like the show. And that's not who I am. But I, I thought the first season was poorly uh, paced. Uh, I, like, that's, a, that's too bad. I thought we would all cosplay as Titans. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could, I could do that. No problem. I can do well, that right now. I, I will, I will say that season two is much better. Now, did you suffer, John? Did you suffer from? Uh, the mid-season fatigue, where a lot of a lot of anime shows that run for like 25 episodes a season, somewhere around the midway point, a lot of the time there's a change of pace, and it just sort of it kind of hit. It, it, I, I've had a few shows where it hits me hard. There weren't just like, enough. Eh. To me, there weren't enough in terms of characters just for season one. Right? Like I never I never read the manga, yeah, yeah. so you guys can go on about that. I don't care. I'm talking about what I've seen from what the anime. And given how dour the whole fucking thing is, very much. Like you know, I don't think there was too much like personal victories between the. I mean, I, 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 I for don't, the humans against the, for the humans against the titans. You know, it's like something small happens, and then holy shit, everything's on fire. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, and it. I, and I felt like it was that for the entire season, and I just became. It's um, depressing. Yeah, it's, I became apathetic to it. It's every episode of the. It's it's Walking Dead. If you take out every episode where good things happen to them, <laughs> it's, it's just bad thing after bad thing, which was, uh, I think, the last season of Walking Dead. It goes from bad before. to worse to holy shit, I yeah. don't care anymore. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's not a good thing for me. Like, a movie can do that because it tells a story from beginning to end in like an hour and a half or yeah, two you've hours. Yeah, at the most, you've got three hours before you know there's going to be some sort of resolution. Yeah. Not an entire fucking season, yeah. you know? And and I did watch the whole thing, you know, because I wanted to see, does, does something good happen at some point? Not Spoiler to say that there are some, no. not to say that, like, I didn't enjoy, like, some characters, because I, I, I don't remember most of their names, but I'm pretty sure I'll recollect as soon as I see them on screen here. Uh, but it's like the, the the plot that was given to me, I felt, no, no, thank you. I, I'll, I'll pass on season two and all that. Even though I hear it gets better, it's like I, I, I'm. I'm all right. I'll pass. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. You even when something good happens to them, it's like you're basically just waiting for something bad to happen again. Yeah. I feel that in season two, though, there were a lot of personal victories, though. But uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, hey, yeah, there, I mean, there, no. there there were plenty of personal victories. Hey, okay, but assuming you're had. watching this let's play and you have no idea what the fuck an Attack on Titan is, I mean, Ellie, like, <laughs> like, admittedly, I have to confess the way the anime went with it, I kind of felt undersold. I just thought it would be like a bunch of really interesting chapters, like Shadow of the Colossus in a way. Yeah, you just find a Titan to be doing some shit. You learn a little backstory on it. Needs so you're to talking you, more about you're talking more of like a traditional Monster of the Week sort of thing. I would, yeah, I, yeah, a bit boring of a structure that may have been, but I yeah. kind of would have liked. It, but it's at least a structure. 
It, right. it, is, it is a structure that A tried has, and true one that works well for, for the purpose intentions. It has rises and falls, and yeah. that's a little easier for people to handle because, yeah, uh, it gets depressing, but then it gets good, and then it comes down again. Now, I understand that Japanese is, is authentic, but is this, be, is this an intentional choice on your part, Elliot, or they literally have no English dub? No English dub for the Oh, they for, for, fucking no, cut for, the corners. for the game. Okay. The series ha has an English dub. I'm talking about the game. Yeah, the game itself. Oh my god, Koei cut corners again with this shit? I heard they did this in uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. Well, they've all got swords. Of course they're going to Dude, what is the English for? I think the Dynasty Warriors have been good, though, let's be honest. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> well, fuck. That to, took a while, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ooh. Yeah, it took a long while. <laughs> up to seven. <laughs> up to yeah, seven, dude. but fucking all the guys. It, it took up to seven and a bunch of extreme games. Mm. So, I mean, Ellie, do you want to explain what a, exactly Attack on Titan is? is as a, as a concept uh pretty much it is the humans uh, military in germany they are pretty much defending their their village their walls from titans these giant humanoid looking creatures T of titanic size which are very very creepy yeah there uh, i i remember watching the show the first time through and thinking this is it's unsettling the only yeah, Titan see. that ever actually creeped me out was the Smiley Titan. That's why, though. Like, uh, all of that, like, first it's, just, it's extremely unsettling. Having yeah. trouble with your maneuver gear there? No. Yeah, how, does, Wait, how do you is it, is it broken, actually, and not a... <laughs> <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> so, you know, without the uh, equipment, I imagine Aaron's just got some really powerful flat joints. <laughs> 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 That's what it kind of looks like, too. So pretty much, it's it's almost like being Spider-Man. You're you're pretty much in the air. You're looking for places that you can actually um, hook onto. Aaron Man <laughs> does whatever Aaron can. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty much our our training, our ta our tutorial. So pretty much, we use R1 to lock on, and we would we would hook onto it, and then we would use triangle so that we can actually hit the, our target. For anyone not familiar with the anime, they use what's called 3D maneuver gear, which is these series of cables in, with, that are gas propelled, and they allow them to swing all over the place because the Titan's weak spots are the back of the, like the nape of the neck. Yes. So yeah. they have to get in there and carve out a section, and that's the only way to kill the Titans. Although it is possible to hit other parts, the thing is is that they're able to regenerate those parts. Yeah. So and, isn't the core, and also the core body temperature of a Titan is considered to be, uh, isn't it the core body temperature for a Titan really hot? It's extreme, yeah. Yeah. So which begs the question, why leave us the options for that instead of just giving us blatant fuck me points to the neck? Are there going to be Titans that protect the back of their necks, in which case you have to do this to exploit yes. them? Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. As long as it, as long as it shakes it up, I'm fine with that. Yeah. And that's and that goes true for the show itself too, right? Yeah. There were some yeah. Titans that, that deliberately. You you that's a, that's sort of a spoiler. Some of the more the scars in that form. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's sort of a spoiler for the show is that they were again, scars. Again, again, spoiler if you want to watch the show. But you there's a huge surprise at one point where they're battling a Titan that they've never seen before and the Titan actually goes to cover the nape of its neck. Yeah. And they start to realize that these Titans are actually more intelligent than they gave them credit for. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Because up until then, the Titans were just stupid large beasts. Mindless. And then eventually they started to encounter them that were very intelligent. They were defending themselves. They knew martial arts. Martial which arts is weird, Titans. Which is weird for Literally. a 50-foot monster. Well, not unheard of. It's just that our stink to 50-foot <laughs> monsters. Just, Listen, you gotta, we, we, we got to you know, look, 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 if, if Jet Jaguar can do it, exactly. <laughs> Titans can do it. All right, so this is pretty much telling us about resupplying. We had to resup We would usually find logistics logistics here, I, I, and we they pretty much give us blades and gas that we that we would have to get. So, so your gas isn't unlimited. <laughs> Which their gas the blades always just look like large box cutters. <laughs> they do. Like yeah, they have I the little, mean, they do. Because look, they have the little lines in them. They're supposed to be serrated swords, but they look like giant box yeah. cutter knives. Oh, there's our there's our group all the way over there. So in, open the it, package with the steel swords there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not if you're more curious about what all of this equipment looks like, just go to pretty much any anime convention and there's going to be 60 people dressed as dressed as these guys. So you can just look at. Their no, not even then. You're guaranteed to see the swords at some point. Yeah, that's what. I, it, yeah. Just at any point. Still, it's not too common to see. Full 3D maneuver gear cosplay. Yeah, which I mean is very impressive. Oh, I, I yeah. like when people go beyond. Oh yeah, beyond unbelievable. 
There we go. Sa is Sasha the potato eater? Yeah, she's, yeah, po yeah. she's the potato eater. I girl. like Sasha. Because she eats cool. potatoes. Everyone loves Sasha. <laughs> because she eats potatoes. Uh huh. Well, it's not only that, she's just a fun character. Well, Who likes potatoes? Sasha was like that rare source of levity I needed in the show. and Very, very much. That's about it. <laughs> one that survived. Yeah, one that survived. Because they were fucking god. They were pretty. They're pretty liberal with killing off characters who you thought were going to be important. They're not George R. R. Martin. <laughs> they were pretty darn close for the beginning. In the beginning, yeah. Yeah, they, they were, were close. pretty close in the beginning. I mean, I get. I it. imagine her death, however, is going to be eaten like a French fry <laughs> and not even appreciated I mean, the irony of it. As someone who hasn't read the manga yet, it it hasn't happened. Uh, I uh, don't call me Sasha anymore. Call me Julianne. Yeah. Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you mashed. So <laughs> obviously, the 3D maneuver gear is a very, very big thing in this game. But how does, it, how is it, in the, how is this game still in a way a warrior's title? Well, since we're doing the tutorial, it's pretty much gonna put us in this city, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of titans there. So there's gonna be side quests as as well as the main mission. But there are gonna be titans in the way, so. So it's warriors in the sense that you're. It's a. It's, it's a warriors in this beat 'em up, but not in the sense of everything is on the ground. Yeah. Like a standard warriors game. Okay. Like are titans the only thing you fight in this game? I would imagine so. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I don't. Think but there's there. always like different variations of titans. Which there's is, those titans and that titan there, and this there's, titan. There's the big titans and then there are bigger titans and then there's the biggest titans and then there are. And like, then, it's like then, you have to like you, know, you have to like defeat the captain titan to take control of the fort. <laughs> and, the and then yes. the, and then there's also the very tall midget titan. <laughs> yes, it's called uh, Titan Fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! I gotta change my blades now. Why well, did you just break your box cutters? <laughs> <laughs> they do break, actually. I gotta reload. You flick your wrist and the blade extends. Straight up? <laughs> no. It, fli it comes off of the handle, but it hits one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, one thing I never, ever wanted to see or even hear the idea of in a, in a Warriors game is weapon degradation. Oh, my God, well, it, no. It actually ties into the show. Yes. So that actually works. Yeah. How well, like in a Warriors game. It, in the show, when you would when they would cut their necks, uh, it actually damaged the blades. So if you scored a successful hit, you needed to change your blade. That the, happens that boxes, in real life anywhere, though. Yeah, but those boxes on the sides of them, they're full of spare blades. So he'll de he'll hit a button, detach the blades from the handles, and then reattach new blades. Yeah, you literally, they literally reload their swords. It ties into the game. It ties That's into right. the anime, perhaps, but yeah. admittedly, that is kind of one of the few details yeah. I could have gone without. In a warrior's game, weapon degradation just makes you fucking yeah. wince yes. because come on, you're, you're slaying countless warriors with that uh with your blade. Your 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 only blade you have in the game. I you know what I'd be okay with? I'd be okay with if it degrades. Only when you score a kill on a Titan. You know what I mean? So yeah. you, if you land hits, you're fine. If you actually kill one, that's when you need to start worrying about management. I'd be okay with that. Uh, hey, Armin. How you doing? His eyes are positively glowing. Yeah, really. Like, I like Have you I not seen the last eight minutes of that shit? I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> I do like the cell, the cell shaded look to this. No, the game looks great. Yeah. I think, uh, for the anime I style, I think they, they really nailed that down. What, what hey, look at Annie. <laughs> That's all right. What I also like is that they always, like, they recreate some parts from the cutscenes. There's some parts from the anime, but it's not the entire scene. Okay. So it's almost like giving you a taste of what the anime is like, and yeah. if you want to watch Without it, Without it being a straight-up Attack on Titan or Brick yeah. series. It, it's interesting because this, to me, is kind of what... Uh, a, a show is a, a show game is supposed to do you know you you play the game and it makes you interested in the anime or you watch the anime and you kind of want to play the game so you feel like one of these characters yeah no to really do that though i would think they would need to introduce like a custom character that represents you Instead of like totally taking control of like one of the anime characters, that would that would have been nice. It would have been nice for like an open world game, but I, I, to be honest, I feel like that takes me out of the show because now I don't need to watch the show. I've got my own character. The game feels more like itself. Whereas with this, I I kind of want to. I would want to watch the show to follow how they go through everything, and I want to be her. <laughs> you want to be Mikasa? Yeah, just all the time. Mikasa? <laughs> like, actually. Yeah. I thought it was Mikasa. It could go either way, really. 
Hey, Mikasa is Sumisa. Mikasa is Sukasa. Is Sukasa. Mikasa is Sukasa. Aaron knows a bit of backstory, though. Lost his mother. From its, uh, yeah, from, from, oh. from the invasion and of the Titans. And, and he Titan. saw her get eaten. Yeah. yeah. It's a very like, traumatic experience, but as uh, he has a raging heart on for destroying Titans. Oh, yeah. He's just got yeah, rage in general. No, like, I mean, a raging hard on for the idea of destroying Titans. Oh, yeah. I know. He's just got rage in general. Yeah. And we got our first S. Yeah, he's a very angry kid because even before his mother passed uh, from the Titan, they go into detail about his backstory, about how it wasn't exactly pleasant. Yeah. And so, not even from Titans, just like standard. Just yeah, in magic. general. If, if there were no Titans, he still had a crappy childhood. Yeah. Okay, so we just learned Swoop. So it allows for a powerful downward strike by attacking the enemy from above. So that can actually be helpful because there are times where you can actually go very high up and, and like there's like Titans right in front of you. So being at a distance and being able to swoop can actually help out. And we also get money for doing our missions that, so that we could get parts for like making new blades. So, yeah. Can you make like, stronger blades? Yeah, and, stronger, okay. stronger blades, different types of blades. There's always a lot. Okay. Is there a particular set of equipment that you like rocking personally? Um, I got. I had to actually make that myself. I got. I honestly forgot the name of it. Right. You, it customization has become a thing in later Dynasty Warrior games as well. And I know. I know it's in eight for in particular. You can obtain like a whole bunch of weapons, but then I think it's around eight Extreme Legends that gave you a particular method that you could temper particular abilities and stats onto your weapons, and then just ride it from there. That's like a huge time. Well, Dynasty sometimes. Warriors Four was the first to introduce elements uh, to weapons. Three. Was, was it three? Was three, 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 three Extreme. No, was three it? gave us set elements. Yeah. Four gave you the ability to give any elements to any weapon you wanted right. to your character. My favorite was poison. Mine was mine was darkness. Slash is like huge fucking blessing. <laughs> So this this is pretty much giving us our three cores: the regiment, police, um, Slytherin. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you belong in Hufflepuff. <laughs> the um, the garrison division are within the wall. Holy shit, Xehanort! They're they're pretty much fucking Xehanort. They're they're pretty much like police for the villages. No, yeah. Elliot, Elliot, I, I know. I understand what you're getting. I know. Up, we need to go I right know. back to this. It, it's it's it, I know. That's we're, fucking Xehanort. We're not there yet, goddammit. No, it's Xehanort. <laughs> we are not there. That anyway, is a continue fucking Xehanort. Continue, 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 continue on. Then there's the um, scout regiment where they go beyond the walls um, doing different missions while involving titans, of course. And then there's the military police where they work for the rich part of the yeah. of the walls. Yeah. We're, we're uh, scouts. Yes. We're, we're scout. Scout. part of the scout regiment. Yeah. Yep, that's definitely a titan over there. That's still we should, Xehanort. We should, probably, um, we should probably go do right a titan. <laughs> I, I'm, he's gonna stab me in the back, Annie. Like right, right square in the fucking back. Who, Keith? Yeah, no. He looks like a fucking back cyber type. Call the hunch. So this is pretty much our camp. Where later on we're actually gonna be able to get side <laughs> missions as well. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to get. I'll do a lot of them. I'll probably just do a few, just like show like what would what would come up for side quests. Yeah. Man. So and so right now we just pretty much celebrate graduation. We're like moving up. Look at all those belts. It's like a Final <laughs> Fantasy game. It's like Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Final Fantasy anything after eight. <laughs> Final Fantasy after the eighth. <laughs> eight point two. Eight and beyond. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, we're talking about killing titans? <laughs> no, dude, we're no. talking about graduation. Oh, okay, I don't want to talk about that. So, like, are you afraid of those titans? Titans? <laughs> Someone say titans? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I fell asleep while wearing my suit. Now I've got this titan. <gasps> what? <laughs> Did someone say titans? Anybody want to go for a sale on the Titanic? <laughs> 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 Oh, so it was his fault. <laughs> What's his favorite Aaron, football? Aaron's, Aaron's <laughs> nickname is... Aaron, Aaron's Titan form. A Aaron's nickname is Iceberg. <laughs> is that too soon? Is that too soon? <laughs> um, have you actually watched the live-action movie of Attack on Titan? You know what? I, I wanted to watch it, and as dumb as it sounds, I heard that they created a love interest thing with Mikasa and... Uh, Aaron. And Aaron and yeah. I was not okay with that. I just it, I I loved her character because she's a very strong, independent female character, and I hate when they just kind of I don't know I don't want to say dumb them down, but like 
For the Turn- back burner? No, tournament is such a cliche, like an old uh. cliche. Like, oh, she's got, she's the female lead. She's got to be the love interest. Like, <laughs> maybe she can just be a kick-ass character, and that's it. Can they be both? A kick-ass character and a love interest? Uh, Motivation not, is another thing. Not, not when they're one, and it feels like they're forcing the other. Ah. So... Pretty much. It but let me ask you. But to ask that question, if they can be both kick ass <laughs> and a love interest, and it doesn't come off as forced to you, can that be allowed or possible? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So like, pretty much, when you see the um, speech bubbles with that star on top, that means you can talk to everyone. Pretty much, get to know how everyone's feeling at the current situation. We're fucked. I hate <laughs> everything. <laughs> That's Aaron. And if, Aaron. You, if you hit the options button, he they do a gesture, but it really doesn't do much. It's just there. <laughs> gesture button. So it's, so it's like, like a clown button. He 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 puts his hand and over the clown his face eyes, button. There is a clown face. And he's <laughs> looking for titans. <laughs> titans are that's that his, way. That's his resting animation. <laughs> Where are the titans? <laughs> He's like, Titans are that way. <laughs> because of my weakness, I failed that. Dude, you were fucking unarmed, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, that. he's totally <laughs> armed. It's like, Jesus. Oh, shut up. You know what I mean. <laughs> he's uh, arming. But it's like, you were like, what, a fucking, like, a 10, 12-year-old boy you got against a massive Titan that came out of nowhere, for the record, and he goes, like, I was weak. Yo, fuck you, all right? Be yeah, that's, realist. that's such a cliche. Like, yeah, I couldn't like, do anything I'm, to stop you. Yes, <laughs> yes. As a nine-year-old, you could not stop the 50-foot Titan. There, I'm going to give you that one. There's always going to be a part of you that blames yourself even though you've done nothing wrong where you're absolutely restricted yeah there's oh it's just an emotional thing you you don't it's logically wrong but emotionally you're gonna feel like you hate yourself regardless uh, let's see how, uh, hey, how serious this is the flashback of his mom dad let's see how serious well, just just mom well let's see how hardcore they take this flashback yeah, because the death, original death was pretty fucking pretty, graphic. Yeah, I remember watching it. Beth was, Beth was doing something else, and she hears it and goes, What the hey. hell are you watching? Hey. So, you look like a McDonald's French fry. <laughs> he looks like a McDonald's. I would have been, sca- been scared of shit, too, admittedly. <laughs> yeah. Like, you saw that Titan smiling at it, like, I'm going to fucking eat you. <laughs> you look like a potato chip. <laughs> hey there, buddy. I'm hungry. <laughs> You know, there's also one thing you have to notice. Aaron's mom has the hairstyle of death. The the ponytail to one side. Uh huh. Uh huh. Every that is, anime mom has that. Is that is the anime and they mom die. who's gonna die? Yes. Parasite. She, yeah, Parasite had it. <laughs> By the way, if you uh, if you Google uh, Aaron's mom cosplay, someone did a dress. <laughs> But the bottom, like, a, you know how, like, the ball gown dress yeah. opens up? The bottom of the dress is the mouth of the, the titan, titan biting her <laughs> at the waist. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, it's the armor. Awesome. And it's the armored titan. Hut, hut, hut! <laughs> Pretty it's like much. the fucking footballer titan, yeah. <laughs> the, th- the thing with the armored titan, he's he's more relevant in season two. Straight from Tennessee. <laughs> he looks like fucking Brian Fury skinless. He looks he he like Brock Lesnar if he were actually more skinny. <laughs> He looks like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just looks like Brock Lesnar. Oh. Paul, have Paul Heyman on like his shoulder. Actual, like, like actual depiction. Like actual depiction. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I would just love to see Paul Heyman on his shoulder just being the hype man. I'm pretty sure there's a Paul Heyman Titan somewhere around here. Actually, I don't want to see that. Don't, don't, no, don't there, there most likely that. is. Yeah. Internet, go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Please remember to move to the genitalia. <laughs> oh, yeah, they don't have, as, they don't as have that genitals. that is anatomically correct. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> I guess it saves on animation costs. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is also where we could get different parts and, and Yeah, that was build. a very bad memory. <laughs> this is where we can um, build Yeah, I remember those well. days. <laughs> Fuck. Remember yeah. that time your mom died? With a second and bite, I mean crunch a <laughs> bunch a bunch of human. <laughs> so pretty much, this is where we could get all the things that we can upgrade our stuff. Do you think that with the crunching sounds that the Titan made eating his mother, Aaron actually refuses to hear or even think about eating a bag of potato chips? <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna have to call it a part here. <laughs> hey man, you want some chips? Crunch, mom. <laughs> Look out, they're ruffled. <laughs> <laughs> Her dress was ruffled. So we're going to call it a part here, and we will see you back here on Thursday for part two of Attack on Titan.